Bill Schwab, WineBuys.com here, and I'm here with the importer and Luciano. I call him Luch because of, well, I got some friends named Luciano that I call Luch. And uh, uh, we're tasting through his three lines, and we've come to the, the, the final portion, the dessert portion. Um, let's start off with the red. And what are the grapes here? Montepulciano d'Abruzzo. 100%. Cento per cento. 100%. Outstanding. Rarely made into a dessert wine. I haven't seen very many made into dessert wines. I want to look at the color first of all. That is deep. Deep. And you can probably even see it against my white shirt very well there. And the first thing I notice is it's not coying out of the glass. Um, it doesn't have that, that syrupy port aroma to it. You can definitely tell it's sweet, but almost more of a raisin sweetness to it. Maybe a little hint of pruniness. Any raisiny done to the grapes? Yes. Okay. Mm. Mm. Wow. Um, almost no aggressive tannins to it. it. It just has a little bit for framework. It fills the mouth. Rich, sweet, no coying sweetness, not sugary sweet. It's a natural fruit concentrate here. Um, like a, a said pruny and raisiny, but more like a dried cherry. Um, uh, and maybe even a little dried cranberry. There's still some acidity here. Uh, what, what's the process here? Are we raisining for a month? What's what's going on? Let me know. The, 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 uh, 100% percent Montepulciano e un particolare cru, quindi da un vigneto particolare raccogliamo queste uve che vengono messe ad appassire a temperatura controllata in celle eh, dove c'è un forte arieggiamento fino eh, per un periodo di 35, 40, anche 50 giorni raccolte a fine ottobre, vinificate poco prima di Natale il tempo di fermentazione è molto lungo e quindi la permanenza fra il mosto e le bucce con un contatto lungo di almeno 35, 40 giorni per ottenere una, una crema, questa crema che poi eh, conserva 80-90 grammi di zuccheri naturali nel vino. So, this comes from a Cru vineyard. Um, the grapes, are, the vineyard is 30 to 40, almost 50 years old. The cream of the crop, half of it is, called, is uh, harvested for the reserva, mm -hmm. and the other half is allowed to dry on the vine. Okay. Then it is in mid late October. It is harvested, so it's a late harvest. Mm -hmm. It is harvested and put into temperature controlled drying units okay. and specially constructed plastic uh, trays where the grapes are not touching one another, so they get full aeration. Then these are this particular juice is allowed to. How long the, do they? How long are you raising in the trays? Uh, 25 to 30 days okay. and then uh, just before Christmas um, they do the, the, the maceration and they allow the uh, must and the lees and the skins to ferment together for 35 to 40 days. It's a huge huge time. Most of the time when you're talking about red wines you're talking anywhere from 16, 17 days to 25 days. Uh, that amount of time on the skin really extracts a lot. And you have to be very, very careful because you can get some bad things along with it. Nothing here is Temperature bad. control. That's, mm -hmm. that's the key to this particular process. And what happens as a result of that is that they're able to attain um, 88 to 90 percent um, sugar content. Mm -hmm. And so they never let it go below that or above that. So as soon as it reaches that sugar content, and that's when they'll put on the brakes with the temperature so it stops all fermentation so that you still get the sugar mm -hmm. without the heavy, heavy... Well, taste. the thing that jumps out at me is, is it really had a, 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 a pruny raisin to the nose. But when it hit the palate, it was much brighter, much more intense. And it said that... that cranberry, dried cherry sort of thing going on to it. I really like that controversy, the nose between the palate, because so much of what we taste is what we smell. And I like it when a wine tastes a little different, that you have a little bit of a, a surprise agenda. Now, uh, I saw a bottle of this on a store shelf nearby for uh, $70. That's not a bad price at all, this. 
for this vinyl. Uh, but we are going to cut a deal somehow and get it into the 60 range. All right? Um, I think we can work with that. I think we can. See, I now it's gone can. from maybe to I think I can. <laughs> That's what I love about it. If eventually, we, we soften up the walls there and uh, we get to where we need to be. Um, outstanding. Well, I don't even have to haggle about price. 60 bucks it is. Um, and it's a steal for that. Uh, I know I'm putting a few aside for myself. Uh, what's the aging capacity on this? Do we have any that's uh, set uh, around for a while? Quanto tempo per, uh, può conservare? Sì. È un vino che ha un chef life lunghissimo. Eh, qui abbiamo un vintage 2007, quindi sono solo 4 anni, ma credo che la sua grande espressione ce l'avremo almeno fra 4 o 5 anni. So the greatest expression of this one, that's a 2007 vintage. Um, so probably four or five years, it will be superb, mm -hmm. even more superb than it is now, and then you can cellar it forever. Forever. I love that. Beautiful. Thank you, Machino. Thank, thank you. you. Grazie a lei. Great. And thank you.